This right here is the little owl. It's the cutest bird I've ever seen. And right now, it's critically endangered due to intensive land use and habitat destruction. It's already gone extinct in many regions. But could we possibly reverse that direction? We found two pioneers who think they can. And we'll help them bring our feathered friends back with the power of innovation and a plan that started 30 years ago. We're Planet Wild. Welcome to our fourth mission. Let me introduce you to my little friend. The so-called little owl is one of the smallest owls in the world and it's loved for its range of adorable moves and expressions. I think it's undeniably the cutest bird, at least in Europe. Its German name is Kautz, and given that it sometimes has this kind of sweet, nerdy look to it, Germans describe people with that same vibe as Kautzig, Kautzi, which I think is kind of beautiful. You're nerds. Now, what's special about the little owl is that it actually wants to be our neighbor. It's what's called a synanthropic bird. That means it actually thrives best close to human settlements rather than in complete wilderness. Or to be more precise, it needs the right mix of human settlement and natural diversity. If the little owl disappears, it means that the nature around us is in bad shape. And like a canary in the coal mine, the little owl has gone completely extinct in many places, including this area here. That's why we're teaming up with two people that have found a way to bring it back. But it required 30 years of landscape restoration to be successful. By the way, if you're wondering who we are, Planet Wild is a community that anyone can join to help restore our planet through monthly missions like this. There's a link in the description. I'll also share more info at the end. Now back to the video. We're in Nute Nieblitz, a beautiful region one hour south of Berlin, to meet with Peter and Günther. Without them, this landscape would not be what it is today. During East Germany's socialist era, this region was shaped by state-operated mega farms that destroyed the landscape's once rich biodiversity. The giant monoculture fields left little space for old trees, wild bushes, cattle holes or wetlands where insects and other small animals could thrive. With all these habitats gone, the little owl entered into a steady decline, which eventually led to its extinction. But when the GDR fell and Germany reunited, conservationists knew they had a historic chance. Within two years, Peter and Günther's team founded an organization to reverse the damage done to nature and restore the biodiverse landscape of their ancestors. Landschaftsförderverein Nute Nieblitz Niederungen e.V. A big name for a big plan. Let's just go with LFV Triple N. And a big plan it was. For three decades and on a scale of over 5,000 hectares, LFV Triple N replanted trees, restored old wetlands, and transformed concrete deserts into natural fields. At this mega duck farm alone, they removed 10,000 tons of concrete from the landscape and literally turned it into a flowering meadow. Over the years, they bought large plots of land to dedicate it exclusively to sustainable farming practices by local farmers. This was actually quite controversial at the time, because after Germany's reunification, everyone was eager to exploit the land around the new capital Berlin for maximum profit. Es gab also jede Menge Planungen, angefangen von Golfplatz über Freizeitparks und äh, Infrastrukturentwicklung. Und da war es wichtig, einen Gegenpol zu setzen, beziehungsweise die Belange, die wir vertreten, auch effektiv zu vertreten. Peter told me that at one point over 60 golf courses were suggested for development around Berlin. But they fought for a different vision. Well, they didn't win every battle. Their conservation efforts were overall successful. As can be witnessed today, just by walking through these landscapes with open eyes. So many places are brimming with life that most cultural landscapes lack nowadays. The return of insect and plant species in the region is such an unmistakable sign that things are moving in the right direction. And this brings us to the little owl. Little owls are what conservationists call an indicator species. If they breed in an area, it shows that this area's ecosystem is in overall good health. A while ago, Peter and Günther gained the conviction that the Newton Nieblitz region had healed enough to provide a habitat for the little owl once again. In many places, the agriculture is now more nature-friendly. People again embrace the historical rural structures of their villages. You can see small livestock, gardens behind the houses, horse farms and stables. Ja, die Artenvielfalt ist entscheidend und die geht ja letztlich darauf zurück, dass die Landschaft fruchtbar ist. Und hier hat man die Vielfalt, die wir eigentlich brauchen. So a few years ago, LFE Triple N started a resettlement program for our Kautzi friends. 
Similar efforts have been tried in other regions and failed, but this one seemed to get things right. Not least because of a new method called family rewilding that the team has developed and is now pioneering in the region with great promise. And we are here to help at the beginning of breeding season to bring the little owl back to its old habitat. The process is fascinating. Step one, finding a territory. This started two months ago when the team went out into the field equipped with a simple Bluetooth speaker to broadcast male courtship calls and listen if another male would respond to claim the territory. This is normally done at night, by the way, but we filmed it at daylight so you guys can see what's going on. If they hear a response, that means last year's work has been successful and the little owl has already settled here. If they don't, it means we just found a perfect spot for new owls to settle. Next, an aviary is placed at that exact location. That's what we're standing in front of right now. Each aviary houses a pair of captive bred birds that are brought in from different regions every year in order to keep the gene pool variation high. In case you're wondering how to tell if this is male or female, you can't. Little owls are monomorphic species. That means male and female look the same. It's the beginning of spring right now. That means our couple has just laid its eggs. In a few weeks, we'll come back to take a look at the baby owls, which by the way, are called owlets. I think that's my new favorite word. And indeed, after four weeks of breeding, our owlets have hatched. The whole family is in the aviary now. That means family rewilding is in full motion. Let's take a look. These owlets are now about two weeks old, so let's be respectful and give them some quiet. So far, other resettling projects have simply released young captive bred owlets into the wild. The family rewilding approach increases the chances of success drastically. Die Familienauswilderung hat den Sinn, dass wir nicht Jungkreuze einfach in die Landschaft frei entlassen, sondern dass wir die in einer passenden Umgebung zusammen mit den Elterntieren in die Freiheit entlassen und dort haben sie dann ein Jahr lang schon sich die Gegend anhören und ansehen können und sind dann aus der Voliere praktisch in einer bekannten Umgebung und das hat sich sehr bewährt. But of course we haven't been idle while our young family here is growing up. We used the time to already prepare the next step, making sure that both bird generations will find a safe home once they leave the aviary. And that means setting up nesting boxes. Now, why is that even important? Little owls need very specific structures like open barns and old fruit trees as nesting places. The former are getting harder to find nowadays, and while the latter have been replanted over the years, it will take another three decades until they reach the old age at which broken off branches create the kind of tree holes that little owls need as burrows. And that's where our support comes in. The Planet Wild community is financing the installation and purchase of 25 nesting boxes. They will be located close to villages as well as in the field to increase variety. And we'll use this to make the nest a little bit cozy. Voila, we just installed number one of 25 nesting boxes overall. A few weeks after all nesting boxes are installed, the owls are already fledging. Now the last thing for us to do is open up the aviary and then let nature take over. Over the next weeks, both the parents and the owlets will start exploring the environment and eventually leave. The parents will stay in the territory and find a breeding spot for next year. The young owlets will stay around for a while to learn until eventually they go on their own journey to find a partner and nest in one of the many places that have been set up where they help build a more and more self-sustaining population of little owls over the years. For a fully self-sustaining population, Peter is estimating that they need 100 breeding pairs in the region. With almost 50 pairs documented already, that goal is starting to move into reach. If successful, it will be proof that our environment can truly heal and an example that others can follow. Already now, other conservationists have started adopting the family rewilding concept. That's why we were excited to help push it further. And of course, we'll report back how many of the nesting boxes have been populated when the field documentation is happening next spring. A personal takeaway for me was to see how close to home rewilding can be. Our relationship to nature really starts at our own doorsteps and we all can support biodiversity in small ways and take pride in an insect-rich garden or even balcony. 
knowing that it has ripple effects across the wider area. Planet Wild is a brand new initiative and this is our fourth mission so far. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe. We do one of them every month. I'll link to previous missions at the end, where we went on a deep dive ocean cleanup at 40 meters below the sea and helped transform a dying forest into a climate resilient new ecosystem. Now, none of this would be possible without our community. And a big thank you goes out to everyone who's been chipping in to make this happen. And a warm welcome to all of you who have joined Planet Wild for the first time this month. This mission is your personal success and you just unlocked the new mission badge in our app to show for it. If you haven't heard of Planet Wild yet, we're a community that anyone can join to give back to nature and help our planet bounce back, one mission at a time. If you want to become part of this, click the link in the description. As a backer, you can vote on how we spend the money, connect with me and other members on our app and Discord, and see your own impact in video reports just like this one. The bigger our community grows, the bigger these missions will get. I'm looking forward to seeing you over and out.